Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the Epic Rename plugin. This plugin allows you to customize the name of items, add a glow effect and add lore using commands. It supports permissions as well as economy, so players would need to pay to perform certain actions. To install the plugin, head over to the plugin section, go over to the spigot tab and type in epic rename. Install the version that is compatible with your server and restart. Alternatively, you can download it from the plugin page and upload it to your panel manually. I'm not going to be using any economy plugin, but if you are, ensure that you have Vault installed as well. In game, you can type in slash epic rename help to get a help menu. You can actually customize the messages and the prefix of this plugin in the configs. So if you want to have your own help menu, you can do that. To rename an item, type in slash rename and then whatever you want the name to be. You can also use formatting codes. I'll link a page in the description where you can find them. The slash lore command will add lore to items. Use the vertical bar to go to a new line. So in this example, I'm going to have lore on two separate lines. Of course, you can use formatting codes as well. To change a specific lore line, type in slash set lore line, then the line number and then the text. Or if you want to remove a lore line, type in slash remove lore line and then the line number. To add an enchanted glow to an item, type in slash glow and then the item that you're holding in your hand will have the glow effect. To remove it, just type in slash remove glow. All of these apply for every item in game, even blocks, so you can customize them however you like. Like I said previously, you can even make players pay in-game currency to use these commands. Now, let's quickly go over the config. Locate the config in the plugins folder, and then here you can change the prefix. Below, you can change whether you want to use economy or not. You can of course blacklist certain items and even bad words or phrases. Then there are some formatting limitation options and near the bottom you can enable which worlds you want this plugin to work in. And that's about it for the config. In the messages.yml you can customize all the messages that this plugin has to offer. So if you have a different language on your server for example, you can change these here. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any other plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you're having issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.